What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of B is for Build. In this episode, we're building sleeping quarters for the FJ. Now I have scoured the internet for the best way to sleep in, on, or around an FJ cruiser and I got it figured out. In this episode, we're gonna build it, but first I need to buy some tools and supplies. Stay tuned. I don't want to give too much away too early, but for this project, we're going to need woodworking tools and I don't have any of those. So first stop, Harbor Freight. That's a wrap on Harbor Freight. I actually had to buy a new screwdriver because my old screwdriver broke. Uh, but it did last about a year and a half and at 19 bucks a screwdriver, a year and a half per lifetime, that's, that's, still, that's, that's still pretty good odds. Heading on to Home Depot now to get materials. At the risk of the Home Depot loot giving it away, this is what we got. Plenty of wood to build our sleeping quarters. Let's get back to the shop and build it. All right, back in the shop, got the materials we need. My spare tire, I swear, it's in my basement. I gotta get the tire put on the wheel. I will do that, I will do that shortly. I don't know, I forgot to do that. Um, anyways, so the whole idea of this vehicle was supposed to be the adventure vehicle. It's supposed to be something Chelsea and I could jump into, drive to the mountain or to the beach or whatever to stay the night to get out of the city. Um, and to do that, you gotta, you kinda have to have a way to overnight um, in or around the vehicle. Well, no, you just have to have a way to overnight, right? So we could uh, throw down a tent, but we get way, way, way too much rain around here to just solely rely on just a tent. Um, that also kind of cuts out for me the tents that extend off of the back here. Um, so the other option is a rooftop camper tent, right? There's plenty of them out there. You just bolt it to the roof rack, open the thing up, there's your tent, and you stay the night. Um, well, lots of them that rely on just the tent body itself are not going to be very waterproof. There are some others that have like a hard shell roof that look awesome, but I really don't want to have to climb down a ladder in the middle of the night when I need to go pee. I swear to God, that's the whole reason that I've completely nixed that option. So that leaves us with the back of the FJ. Cleaner than I've ever had it. So this is the back of the FJ. You can fit a human being in here pretty well, except for there's this lump right here. Not very comfortable on the back by any means. To fit in here, you need to use the whole length of the space which we will figure out a way to do. But sleeping back here does give you the ability to stay completely out of the rain and a lot of other good perks. Now, one thing for me though is because, because I am the way that I am, this really quickly went from being the adventure vehicle to being the shop truck. So I do have to move parts and large parts and, and panels and stuff for the other project cars around with this truck, often wheels and tires and whatever, whatever. So the building, the thing that we build to make this area more sleepable also has to be able to be like kind of compacted down, brought down to a smaller size so it doesn't take up the entirety of the back of the car at all times. And I want the back seats to work. A guy has already done this. Somebody online has came up with an awesome solution. He must be a con contractor, com com a carpenter because he has some really great building skills and he gave us these awesome schematics. So there's a, his username on the FJ forms is Easy Street. I'll put a link in the description. He uh, had these awesome drawings of it showing me exactly how to build this thing. But what it's gonna give us is a platform that comes up to flatten out this back area. So it's one flat piece all the way back. Also, it breaks down into itself and stores down and you can have your back seats. It's like the perfect thing that I was looking for and I think it's the best sleeping option for the FJ. So, we're gonna get to building it. All right, I got my wood, I got my sawhorse, I got measuring tape, Okay, so I just finished cutting up all the pieces for that main platform in the back here. These pieces are gonna go at a 90 degree angle. They have a notch out of them for that lip on the back that you can see right there. This piece has a notch taken out of the front for the door hinge, right, or the door right there, that piece of plastic. Um, and like I said, so these all need to be mounted in there. They're gonna be 
uh, off, they're not gonna be dead center because this second piece needs to be wider so we can actually sh shove the um, other pieces of the platform underneath this when we're not using it, which is how it kind of collapses onto itself in self-storage. So I've, I'm not a, a good carpenter. I don't know the secret behind figuring out how to drill perfectly underneath that and into that wood, and that way we can land the screws in the right spot, but I'll, I'll figure it out, I hope. Okay, part one is complete. We have the rear sleeping platform set up. So this is gonna be in the car at all times. The rest of the pieces that we're gonna to build to make the sleeping platform will slide in here when we're not using them. This stays in the back forever. That's what it looks like with the back seat up. It snugs right up against that and then uh, goes to the back of there. This is gonna be for auxiliary storage, probably, probably an air mattress or something like that. So that's the back of my car now forever, except this is obviously gonna get a little bit of fabric treatment and stuff like that. So uh, Chelsea is gonna go ahead and wrap that in some carpeting so it looks nicer, and I'm gonna start working on the back two pieces that finish off the sleeping quarters. Chelsea's most of the way through of wrapping this first piece in fabric, a little bit of carpeting to make it look a little bit nicer. While that's going on, I'm gonna be over here cutting up some pieces that we're gonna lay down uh, on that section right there, the, the slanted section. So they're gonna have some slants in them. They're gonna go once here, once here, and they're gonna, again, staggered sizes so they can both fit in that main shelf right here. pieces cut so I've got this piece right here and this piece right here and they both have these two little slanted sets of legs right there got to go ahead and wood glue and screw them all together like we did the other one All right, it's coming together. So we got the rear piece all carpeted and in, and then I test fit the two forward pieces. I even jumped my body in there. I fit nicely. It's looking great. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out those two rear pieces and carpet them up just like we did this one. If anybody's wondering how we're doing this, this is just carpeting from the fabric store and a little bit of spray adhesive and staples. We got them all carpeted up and there they are installed inside the car. Nice little platform for sleeping on. Now let's see if we can break them down and store them in, in themselves and put the back seats in. And there we have it. Folds up nicely into the it, itself. But we're not done yet. The piece de resistance is tomorrow. Did I say piece de resistance? What I meant was more like pisty resistor? Okay, clearly I don't know Italian. But one thing you may notice about this back door is there is no latch from the inside to open it. So if you're back here and you're sleeping or you're doing whatever, you wake up in the morning, you wanna get out, maybe go to the restroom or something like that, or just get out of the vehicle, there's no handle here to open the back door and get out. That means you have to crawl across through the front seats, normally where you have your bags and stuff like that, pop open the front door and crawl out there. It is an absolute pain in the ass. So what I wanna figure out how to do is build some sort of a latch, pulley, something, so I can open this rear door from the inside. All 
All right, I jumped on the forums and found a really awesome solution for this. You drill a hole right here, drill a hole in the same relative spot on your little cover tray thing like that, connect to the bar that drops down for the handle, and then use some of these clampy deals, like they're like wire clamp things. Ah, oh, you can't really see that very well. Let me shine some light on that. There you go. Um, to do that. So now we have our own little rod like that, which I will dress up more. And then I also found out that this rear window opens, which is gonna make the whole camping in the back of here thing so much cooler when we can go ahead and open up that window. Um, maybe later on I'll build a switch on the inside to open up the rear window and like some sort of a thing. But for now, um, I had no idea that my window even opened, but yeah, it's a, you turn the key to the right and, and, it, and it opens. I didn't, I thought that was a feature that my car didn't have. So that's super awesome. I got a rear window that opens and soon I'll have a rear door that opens from the inside. So that's the mechanism there. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and button this up and clean it up and finish it off. inside here and I can just press down and that opens up the door and there we go. I think I can get one more cool thing out of this. Rear tire applied. Alright guys, well that is it for this episode and pretty much the end of this build. I have opted out of doing kind of the traditional um, finale video that I normally do at the end of all my builds because this year we're going to head to SEMA in just a few weeks. I'm going to take this thing to SEMA. We're going to be camping in the back of it and other things like that. And I'm going to film that trip to SEMA and that'll kind of be a little bit more of the adventure style of what we're going to really use this vehicle for um, included into that trip. So I didn't really want to take the time out of the schedule now. So I will though... Uh, post kind of a summary video of how this thing was built and I'm going to post that to Facebook as well. If you want to help out and support, please uh, do your part to share that Facebook video that we post. Um, the last one we did on the 2JZ Swap BRZ, you guys were awesome with uh, like, you know, liking that, tagging friends and sharing it and it got like over six and a half million views in the first week and that does a lot to bring awareness to the channel. So thanks to all you guys that do that. Keep an eye out when we post the video to YouTube, I'll also be posting it to Facebook and the more we spread that, the more it helps the channel. So thanks to all you guys that do that. Um, so yeah, the next time that you're going to see this build is we're going to feature it in the vlogs on the way to SEMA. We're going to be there just hanging out with a bunch of other YouTubers, hanging out with friends, checking out new products and new stuff like that. So let me know uh, in the comments what you guys would like to see from SEMA because I'm really just going to see new stuff and meet up with different people in the industry uh, and, and all my YouTube buddies. Uh, but it'd be great to know what you guys would like out of some videos of that. Uh, yeah, like I said, that's a wrap. Uh, thank you guys all so much for the support and all the tips and everything like that. The other thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to get a deep cycle battery for up front um, just because the uh, stock battery, you know, deep cycle is the right battery to have and also that stock battery is pretty much dead. So yeah. Anyways, um, thanks y'all so much for watching. Uh, if you like Beast for Build, you want to help out and support it, head over to beastforbuild.com, scroll down to the shop. If you're watching this playlist after live, after the date that we air, we still got some FJ shirts in stock, so check that out at the shop until they are gone. Once they're gone, they're going to be gone. Um, but thanks so much for all the support with that. And uh, if you want to find us in more places, all of our social media links are in the description. Check us out at any of those. Uh, follow us on there to stay up to date with everything. That's it, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. Peace. Come, come, come on.